Good morning, McAvenue School. Mr. Domin here handling the McAvenue morning announcements. Today is Wednesday, September 25th, 2024. Thank you once again for joining me for the Wednesday edition of McAvenue's morning announcements. Let's get to it. We have a decent amount to cover. We're going to start like we always do, coming together as one unified collective school, showing our ultimate sign of respect. You know it by reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. So let's stand up. Turn your voice off, put your right hand over your heart, make sure to face the flag that's in your classroom or learning space, and we will begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Nice job, everyone, showing your ultimate sign of respect. It is weather update time at McAvenue. And remember, on the Wednesday edition, we simply cover the Wednesday weather, which is today, and the Thursday weather, which will be tomorrow. So here we go. Weather today, 65 degrees, cloudy, with a slight chance of a rain shower way later on in the evening. So great weather for the back to school bash there shouldn't be anything to worry about at all for the event so hopefully we will see you there but more to come on the back to school bash on the next slide weather tomorrow that is thursday september 26 periods of rain 66 degrees so it's about a 90 percent chance of rain which means Got to wear your sweatshirt tomorrow with a hood or something to protect yourselves from the rain. Outdoor recess might be a little questionable tomorrow, so teachers, please plan accordingly for some indoor recess if we're not able to get outside. That is the most updated and current weather that we have for today and tomorrow, so that is your weather update. And I mentioned it before, back to school bash. That's right, happening tonight, 5 o'clock here at McAvenue, right on the parking lot side of the school where our buses come in. There's going to be games, activities, food for you there. It's going to be amazing. And speaking of food, there's going to be a lot of food options. Some of it is going to be try some samples, and some of it is if you bring a few dollars, you'll be able to purchase a few things. I will remind your families that information so students, you don't have to lock that in your brain and go home and try to convince your parents that you need to bring a few dollars. I will handle that communication to them. And teachers, you can also remind families as well if they bring a few dollars, there'll be some things to purchase there as well. But it's going to be amazing. Hopefully, we'll see you there. 5 o'clock is the start time. No sooner, so if you show up at 4.30, Matter of fact, you're going to be in the way. So just come at 5 o'clock so we have plenty of time for teachers to set everything up and for all of our vendors and community partners to come. And it ends at 6.15 sharp. All right. So it's going to be an amazing event. Hopefully I'll see you there. One of the best events here at McAvenue. And it's going to be really, really cool. All right. It's yoga pose time at McAvenue. Time to get your bodies and minds working together as one in a fun way. And this is how we're going to do it with the mountain pose. The mountain pose is that pose that starts all of our yoga poses when they're in the standing uh, yoga pose position. And then we will add movement. So on Monday, we added the movement uh, that you see right next to me with the green shirt on. And today, we're going to add the movement with the uh, purple shirt person that's kind of bent over. So let's get to it. So the standing mountain pose starts in a standing position. Feet hip width apart, hands down by our side. So that is the mountain pose, that is it. But we're gonna add some movement to it. What I want you to do right now with your arms is put them behind you like this. Just stretch them back, you don't have to join your hands. And then I just want you to bend over at the waist, keep your knees bent a little bit, and move your arms back like Mr. Domina is doing. Take a deep breath in, and release it. Deep breath in, and release it. Here, I want you to slowly go back up in your standing position, rotate your hands right to your side, and you're in the standing mountain pose. So that is the mountain position. I love it. It is a yoga pose only when you add other movement, but when you start, it is a position. Mountain can be just a position on its own, but we added some movements. And when we launch next week's yoga pose, you'll see how we start in the standing mountain pose and then add other movements to it. So nice job. Remember, please do the mountain pose anytime you need to with the movements that we practice on Monday and Wednesday. And you can also do it on Thursday when we just do the old school intercom announcements. And remember, no yoga on Friday, Friday dance party. That's right. That's how we get our bodies and minds working 
working together as one in a fun way celebrating all the hard work that we accomplish. So I will do the reminder on Friday, but no yoga pose is happening. So nice job, everyone, practicing that mountain position. Uh, really, really cool. All right, McAvity's joke of the day coming in quickly. Here we go. What is the best day to go to McDonald's? Don't say every day, even though Mr. Domino loves himself some McDonald's. That would be cool going every single day. Probably not the most, most healthy choice. Pardon me. All right. So think about this. What is the best day to go to McDonald's? Hmm. Think about that one. Do you have your guest prediction or suggestion locked in your mind? All right. So what is the best day to go to McDonald's? That's right. It's Friday. Not Friday like the day of the week. Look at how I spelt it down low. Fry like French fries. Friday. All right, that is the best day to go to McDonald's, and boom, there you go. There is your French fry picture, and now everybody wants McDonald's for lunch. All right, so that's McAvenue's joke of the day. Remember to share it with family and friends to get them to smirk, to get them to smile, and better yet, to get them to laugh. The whole idea of doing these jokes is to make your morning start off with a smile on your face. You like that joke, and then you can share it out with somebody else later on. That is a good one. Now I need McDonald's for lunch, and I'm sure all the teachers are thinking the same way. I need some McDonald's and take some fries out it's not even friday and you can still have it really really cool stay tuned for the friday edition we'll have a brand new joke it's birthday time at McAvenue, like cookie monster said holding up that sign so let's get to it and on the wednesday edition we simply cover the wednesday and thursday birthdays right in the middle of the week so here we go today is wednesday september 25th we have three birthdays to recognize safwana's birthday in room 205 we also have Alana's birthday in room 309 and Miss Lori's birthday. Miss Lori is uh, the head cook downstairs in the cafeteria. She's the one that's usually at that computer screen after you get your food. So you can wish her a happy birthday. And let me just double check the home room for Sefwana. All right. Yes, I have it. All right. Just wanted to make sure I had it in the right in the right home room. All right. And on Thursday, September 26th, it's Josephine's birthday in room 205. That is it for all of our birthdays. And I'm going to double check Josephine's birthday as well. Make sure she's in room 205. She is on my little sheet that I have on the side. So let's get our birthday celebration. Round of applause. Hands ready to go so we can launch these birthdays in full McAvenue style. So here we go. Hold on a second. Sound effect board is ready. And let's go. All right, stay tuned for the Friday edition where we recover the Friday birthdays and Saturday birthdays to wrap up our week. But happy birthday, everybody that's on this list. All right, take a look. We have some good news to share out. That is one picture of our new sensory halls. That is the one that's right outside um, room 211 and 212, our pre-K hallway here on the second floor of the school. We've already had multiple kids checking it out. We have brand new ones upstairs, two of them to, to speak. One of them is down by the elevator on the third floor, and the other one is out by the faculty bathrooms on the third floor. Remember, we have that one downstairs by the gymnasium, Miss Rindo's office there. Brand new sensory hallways. They are out. They are down on the ground. They have been waxed over and ready to go for kids. So check them out. Remember, use those sensory hallways when you need to get your bodies in mind, working together as one. You might be struggling with your body control. You might be distracted. Go to the sensory hallways. And when you do those moves, it ties everything together. So you have the best chance to do amazing work here at the best school that we all know. Very, very cool. Thank you to McAvenue's social emotional learning team for spending some of their Friday here uh, late getting these sensory hallways done had to give a shout out for them really really cool take a look at this picture we've been really working hard on I ready getting those reading and math tests done and this is a cool opportunity that Mr. Shanahan and I had um, last week where we went to the I ready headquarters this is the headquarters where it's really under a group called Curriculum Associates, but they really focus on iReady, and these are the creators of iReady, and we went to the, that main building, which was really cool. It was a fun day of learning all about iReady, really, really cool. Some of the stuff we already knew about, some of the stuff we had, had forgotten about, and some of the stuff we are now going to be doing with teachers, but take a look. You walk in, that's the first picture you see, and when you look over on the couch, boom, all the characters from iReady on these big plushy stuffed animals, really cool. And that's an, uh, right over in the sitting area off by, by the main lobby. Those pictures are all different screens that teachers can see when kids take that iReady test. We can monitor progress. It's just different iterations of how that program is developed. Really, really cool. You can just sit there and hang out. 
And this is the main area. There's three floors, actually two floors, uh, the floor that you walk in on and the upper floor, and they are full of these cubicle desks in these bright, cool colors with all the characters everywhere. This is where the people work on iReady right there, and this is really cool. Shout out. There's a, like a candy bar or candy station just out there all day, every day, where anyone can walk up, get a cup, fill it up with candy. And let me tell you, Mr. Domino and Mr. Shanahan had themselves some candy. I have the gummy candies. You know I like those. I had all those, but it was amazing time there overall. It was such a cool experience, and I had to share out the pictures. The iReady headquarters, a very cool experience for Mr. Shanahan and I. So keep those good news stories coming, everyone. Be happy to share them out. Let's do our celebration. Congratulations round of applause. Here we go. All right, nice job. All right, all right, all right. So on the Friday edition, more good news stories to come. When you see that cool screen without anything on it, you know it's time to talk about McAvenue's core values, especially when it has the purple and teal, our school colors. What's the first one, everyone? Let me hear that core value. Boom, it is respect, amazing. And that second one, nice and loud. All right, you nailed that responsibility in that final one. All right, perfect, it is safety. And speaking of safety, that is what we're gonna be focusing on. And today's safety challenge is a simple one. It is in every location in the building, both inside and outside the building. It is literally safe hands, safe feet, all right? Hands and feet should never be on anyone at our school. Even if you're joking around, even if you're playing around, even if you're playing a game, try to keep your hands and feet off of everyone. If you think of it like bubble space, Everybody has a space around them that they don't want anybody to break that bubble. And if your hands are going on someone and your feet are going on someone, you are breaking that bubble. So think of it as bubble space. You want to have your hands and feet away from everybody. Safe hands and safe feet. All right. All locations at McAvenue. Give me a double thumbs up if you can do that. All right, you know I like that. And remember, when we put respect, responsibility, and safety all together, that's right, we will continue to make McAvenue the best school that we all know. That is it for me on this Wednesday edition. Fist bump sign out time. Let's get on with it. One, two, three. So go get them today. Work hard today. Laugh today. Smile today. Remember your safety core value challenge today. Work really hard. Let's get everything done so we can show up tonight at 5 p.m. here at the school for McAvenue's Back to School Bash. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait to see everybody here. It's going to be a super fun event. Lots of games, lots of excitement. DJ is going to be pumping up the tunes. You know Mr. Domino likes that. It's going to be amazing. Hopefully, I'll see you there. And remember, you will catch up with me and Mr. Shanahan in all the usual locations, that's right, that is everywhere. You never know where we're going to be. Boom, popping right around the corner, checking in on everybody. Make sure you're working hard. Little fist bump, a little shout out, and let's uh, have an amazing day. Sound good? All right, I'll see everyone soon. Take care.